Hi, I am Engineer R. Vengadesh, Assistant Professor in Rohini College of Media and Technology. Now we are going to see a topic in Environmental Science and Sustainability. The topic name Zero Waste. So, Zero Waste, first you go to uh, see the definition. Uh, zero Waste is a set of principles that occur on waste prevention that encourages redesigning resources in life cycle so that all the products are reused so by this zero waste concept we can uh, conservation of all the resources by means of responsible uh, productions and consumptions that will be produced a very good product and it should be used for the human environment and human health care okay so the main goals of uh, zero waste is first the material should be reused until the optimized level of the consumption is reached so that by this when we are using a and when you are selecting a certain material for preparing a product so the material should be reused until the maximum level okay so that we can attain the maximum attain the proper goal second it provide a guideline for continuously working towards the essential waste production so by this by this heading uh, the main goal of uh, uh, is provides provide a guideline to continuously working towards the eliminating the waste so that we can prevent the waste from it third point to to avoid sending trash of landfills and are in oceans so when we are using a certain uh, product so for that we are preparing uh, by using of certain materials okay so after the completion of that particular product we are uh, we are uh, we are making that waste into landfills and in oceans so by this it will provide a major impact in environmental uh, disadvantages so we have to uh, prevent we have so we have to prevent that the uh, irregular activities that should uh, pre, uh, that will be very harmful to our uh, environmental health and human life cycle so the major concept of uh, zero waste is the conservation of all the resources by means of responsible production consumption reuse and recovery of products packaging and materials without burning and without no discharges in land water or air that will be treated to the environmental and human health care okay so uh, this is the main concept of zero waste so when we are using a certain principles that will occur a waste prevention as a engineer we have to follow the rules and regulations to encourage the uh, redesigning the resources in life cycles that should be all produced in a reused process manner so when you are so when we are moving towards that particular way of direction the material should be reused until the optimum level of consumption should be reached so the conservation of all the resources by means of this responsible production will be attain a certain level next we have to give a proper guidelines towards the essential waste management process so that the reuse and recovery of products and packaging of that materials should be in a maintained in a proper way so by this we can reduce the waste when occurring as when we are designing or preparing a certain product next we have to avoid the waste that should be thrown in landfill landfill all in oceans so when we are giving a guidelines to a person or an engineer or a man who is working in an environment so we we have to give a proper notice that we should not burning or discharges any waste in the landfill water or air so when we are uh, going to towards that such activities it will be give a threat to our environment and the living things that will be uh, living in that particular environment so 
zero waste is a major concept so to provide the environment so the example for zero waste is one way recyclable glass bottles when we are using a glass bottle that should be a recycled one next one way milk bags so we have nowadays we are using milk when we are we nowadays we are buying milk by plastic bags so that sh bag should be a one time use only next uh, when we are using a preparing a tables or paper in a cartoons their waste should be in in a proper way okay so these are the main concept of zero waste now we have how to reach this zero waste in step by step process so the basic principles of zero waste is refuse what we don't need okay so this is the first steps so refuse what you don't need so it prevent the unwanted items from coming into our home or your home second it will reduce what do you use it is equal to less waste at the end reuse whatever you can recycle what you cannot refuse reuse or reduce regulate of what uh, left over compensating food scraps paper pieces or wooden or brushes written to the written to the earth so the basic steps to achieve the zero waste concept is the the diagram that should be represented in the above slide so here the zero waste concept will be taken place by five or principles so okay first one re refuse reduce reuse recycle and regular so when we are doing uh, such active activities in this five or principles we can reduce we can encourage this zero zero waste concept in major hierarchy so the steps to achieve the zero waste is so identifying the high waste area in our life cycle or lifestyle process second no where to apply the principles of zero waste if the zero waste cannot be removed we have or reduced we have to implement on that particular rule sustainable single usage plastics will be give more eco friendly and zero waste concept so that when we are using or buying zero waste product should be it should be a more eco friendly one we have to support eco friendly business to make our environment in a good health and conditions put all your kitchen waste into a single compositing process or good work, good use so we have to encourage reuse repurpose re and recycle process in overall concept by this we can uh, attain the zero waste hierarchy in our life cycle process that should be more helpful to the environment so now we are moving towards this slide Uh, that advantages and disadvantages of zero waste so advantages is the most important one when we are uh, considering a process so advantage or it should be referred as benefit so zero waste will reduce our climate impact so it is the first problem that will be arised in nowadays in uh, eco uh, environment so when we are using zero waste concept that should be reduced our climate impact and it will be more helpful to all the living beings that will be lived in the environment it conserves resources and minimizes pollution process next it promotes social equality and built community it support a local circular economy and create jobs to all the human beings zero waste need business to play a main play a key role in the environment process so when we are moving towards a zero waste concept we have to follow all the uh, points or rules and regulations that should be entailed in the zero waste so the major disadvantages of zero waste or major problems of zero waste means since zero waste are solids it is difficult to store first problem and it is more expensive process one zero waste is a time consuming but it will be take very 
amount it can use a single sledding process but it will be more difficult a large for household activities zero waste products are hard to find so it is very difficult it is very more it will give more problems for when we have to attaining a zero waste concept thank you